Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop, and today we are we're fixing a big diesel Ferris lawnmower. I do some work for some commercial lawn care companies because it's good work and it pays well. And it's constant work. So what we have here is these two pulleys are bad. Obviously, that's a little too much play in that pulley. Then this one is also bad. This is the blade spindle. That's just an idler. So yeah, this guy's been gone for a long time. I think last year we replaced all but this one. So we'll swap that guy out. This guy's a little tougher customer. These bolts will probably all break. The six bolts that hold it on, six or eight, they're, they sit in wet grass their entire life. But hopefully they break. It makes it a lot easier to get off than when they like you have to fight for every turn. And we'll have to take the taper lock pulley off of this before we, uh, or else the spindle won't drop down to the bottom. So we'll give you guys a show of that. I think I already did a video on doing a how to remove a taper lock pulley, and it, I think it was on this exact same mower. So first, we'll get this guy out of the way, and then we will go from there. Okay, so we're going on the pulley. I got broke loose. Little hands on these nylock nuts. Hit them with just a little bit of heat to soften up that nylon. These are my trusty Craftsman speed wrench. Let's get the pulley off. And might actually because the race is out of it. Oh yeah. metal. I'll have to get that guy off. Okay, let me get that off the rest of the way. Then I'll go get the tools and we'll remove the taper lock pulley. So, as is sometimes common with these, the push bolts broke. So, if you don't understand how these work, the bolts will be through these clearance holes and thread into the pulley. That's what draws this tapered part into it. And, uh, they usually, they put really small bolts in them. So, uh, this one broke. All you gotta do is you wanna take the longest, uh, you know, put, uh, wedge you can find, because you don't wanna risk damaging your wheel. And you just, put, there'll be a little bit of a gap. You just put it in there and you tap it, and this, the longer the wedge keeps you out of uh, hitting your pulley, and the gradual taper helps do it more evenly than taking like a cold chisel and hammering it in there. So yeah, we just did that. Once I have this off, I'll clean it all up and I always chase the threads and I'll put higher quality uh, bolts in them. Yeah, if these break, it's no big deal. There's these long wedges, you can find them at any welding supply store. They come in handy for a million things. So I definitely recommend you picking some up. Okay, let me get a pry bar and get the rest of this guy out. And we'll take off these bolts, which is going to be a pain. Because they're not a, you know, they're not captured. So you got to stick your hand underneath there. If this deck was any easier to remove, I would just take the deck off. But these decks are heavy and there's a million things attached to them. So... I can easily get my arm underneath there and hold it. So, worst case, a quicker way. Let's, you know, just buzz them through. Okay, let's get this pulley off and get everything cleaned up. And I'll bring you back. Okay, there was no way for me to film that without being in the way. Basically, I stuck, held the wrench under the deck. Broke them all loose with the trusty... And you, I've had these things forever, and they're still kicking. Um, once you break them loose a little bit, they just spin in there once the tension's off them. So then I had to reach under the deck, try to find it. The good thing is when you spin it, it breaks all the debris loose. And the impact of the rest of it. So now it should just be... There we go. So now, I'll have to lift up the mower... Get that out of there. And we'll super clean all this stuff up. I'll put new uh, 
nylon bolts on. Again, uh, heating these just a little bit uh, will help you get them off. Uh, when I go through the hassle of a job like this, I always put all new hardware. Just it's in, it's off. There's no reason not to. So, okay, let's go uh, look at a replacement part and get it going. Okay, I got the spindle out, and uh, these are usually on there really good. The company sent me this a while ago. I haven't done a review on it yet. I've been using it. It's done everything I've asked it to do. So let's give it a go. Oh, there we go. For a homeowner unit, it's not bad. It's obviously not a you know, shop grade tool. So, let that's off. These blades are ooh, looking good. I think we rebladed this thing in like July last year. So now, uh, now these are rebuildable. This one's not bad, uh, but I know this customer. And first of all, we just need to get them going. Why we? I would need to order the bearings but typically when he brings me stuff it hasn't just been making a noise for like a day or two it's been like a month or it's to the point where we will not run anymore then they get a little expensive so you have to buy the middle shaft and there's any wear and solder piece they're not worth fixing at that point the labor is too much so we got a new one it's been he had kicking around we got to clean a little bit of surface rust off it and we'll throw it on. I'll bring you back. Okay, got parts replaced. Um, it's supposed to be a different cap on that, more rounded. Um, went ahead and put a fender washer on there to keep more, most of the grass out. Well, we'll get that, and that's just one bolt, easy to do. Got our tape lock back on. It's been a lot now. I know I called this a pulley. Some people are gonna get on me. It's really a sheave, but the typical person is going to call it a pulley. So when they're searching for something and need help with something, I usually just put pulley. That way it shows up. So uh, next thing is everything's tightened up. Everything's spinning freely. I'll clean up inside this just a bit with a wire wheel. The belt will take care of that. And we'll throw the belt on and uh, give it a test run. This guy will be out the door. So again, this probably took... We're stopping the film uh two hours and you know commercial companies pay so if you got a job shop you may you know you may look into doing a lot of this stuff it's very simple and the good part about having a machine shop is when stuff breaks and problems hit the fan you can normally make a lot of this stuff so okay so you got this guy up and going this is adam from small town machine shop Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.